OMG. Welcome back to my channel. So excited that you are here. Thanks so much for clicking on this video. I appreciate you. It's Jody Dunn. I'm outside of the Walgreens. I'm coming at you with another Walgreens haul. If you are new and you just found me, so happy that you are here. Would you please say hello to me and let me know you are new right down there. I would love to welcome you to the channel and say hello back to you. And if you are already subscribed, thank you so much for coming back to another video. I appreciate you and definitely leave me a hello down there so I can say hi to you. So I decided to come back to Walgreens. I told you on Sunday, I only need one more transaction to finish out a monthly spend booster on one of my accounts, but I'm not even gonna do that one today. <laughs> I'm gonna save that one for Sunday. Um, hopefully I'll get a spend booster to work with for that transaction on Sunday. But I do have the regular weekly spend booster on my other accounts that I wanted to go ahead and use. We got a couple of good deals. We have some monthly deals that are going to be ending on Saturday that are really good deals. So I just wanted to come and take advantage of some awesome deals. Um, I do want to tell you, I checked my P.O. box. I only check it every couple of weeks maybe unless somebody tells me they sent me something which I don't ever expect anybody to send me anything but I got some coupons so thank you so much if you think of me and you send me coupons um I got uh, let me see if there's some names <laughs> so I can say thank you Amanda Amanda sent me some coupons thank you so much Amanda and Catherine, Catherine actually sent me some spend boosters from Walgreens, which was so sweet. Unfortunately, I don't check my P.O. box enough and they all like super expired. But I also got one that um, was so incredibly sweet. This person sent me a spend booster. They sent me a coupon that printed from the Catalina machine from Walgreens and they sent me a dang register reward. Oh my gosh. That was so sweet. Uh, they didn't put their name on it. <laughs> they signed it. One of your many subscribers. So whoever you are, thank you. I I kind of feel kind of bad you sending me your register reward because that's money you could use. <laughs> But I'm definitely going to use it, and I appreciate you so much, and I'm going to use it for some stuff for my grandbabies. So we're going to run into the store and do a couple of transactions. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. I appreciate you so much. Let's go, girls. Some awesome deals. Happy Wednesday. Oh, we are in the Walgreens. We're going to do a few awesome deals. So if you caught my Sunday video, uh, I said I was going to repeat the Dove deal, the Dove deodorant. And I knew this was going to happen. It is such a hot deal that the fetch reward rebate went away for the spend 15 on the men care, earn back the four. So rebates can disappear. It is what it is. But we got new rebates that showed up today. So I wasn't going to do it. Now I'm going to do it. So Dove Personal Care Products, uh, not the body wash, like hair care and the deodorant, or buy one, get one 50% off, and buy four, earn back a $10 register reward. Now, because this includes a lot of products, sometimes the newer products are not coded correctly and it doesn't produce the register reward. But I'm gonna go ahead and try it on these new Dove Vitamin Care Sticks. They're $12.99, buy one, get one 50% off. I'm gonna go ahead and grab four of them. I got the register reward no problem on Sunday when I got two Dove Spray women and two Dove Spray men. So crossing my fingers at prints. If not, I'm either gonna have to cancel the transaction or submit to Catalina because my favorite manager who would issue Walgreens cash is not here this week. So these four deodorant total me $38.96. I have a $4 digital coupon that's good for just the vitamin care or I think the whole body deodorant. But we also have this four off too that is attaching. However, I made a mistake in store, which I mean, I make mistakes, but usually I scan every product and I failed to. I only scanned the raspberry and rose one and that is the only one 
that is attaching to the four off two. I don't think it's supposed to, but it is. It's also attaching on Shopmium, but again, only the Raspberry and Rose is attaching to the four off two Shopmium rebate and the digital coupon on Walgreens app. And we know at Walgreens, sometimes if you have two different coupons, even if you buy all the correct products, especially with Unilever, both the coupons will not come off. So I thought, well, even if one of my coupons doesn't come off, I'll be able to submit to Shopmium for a coupon reimbursement. Well, I didn't check that it was only the raspberry and rose. So anyways, I made it work because I actually have a coupon reimbursement over on my points for $4 back on one of the Dove Vitamin Care as well. So because I didn't check all the products, I'm just gonna have one $4 digital come off. So I'll pay $34.96. You can pay this with Walgreens Cash. That's what I'm gonna do and or register rewards. Earn back a $10 register reward for buying four of the participating products. Submit for $8 in coupon reimbursements back between Shopmium and My Points. Submit to Ibotta for $5 back. That is a limit of one. And then I have rebates over on Fetch Rewards. Check what you have. You may not have anything. My husband has $3 back with a limit of five times. I, on my Fetch, I got $2.50 back with a limit of five times. So of course I'm gonna submit this to his Fetch for $12 back, which is gonna make all four of these totally free. Now, if you're adding a spend booster, paper, or digital with this, it's gonna be a money maker. Uh, just to note, the coupon reimbursement on my points and on Shopmium, I think, expires today for the $4 on one. So just be aware of that. And this dang deodorant is so expensive, I am so excited to get it for free. All right, now we're gonna move on and do a spend transaction. So we've got the Kimberly Clark deal. Spend 35, earn back a $10 register reward. That ends on Saturday. We, we might get another deal next month, but this is a monthly deal and it ends on Saturday. So I'm gonna go ahead and do it again. I'm gonna grab the Huggies Little Swimmers for $18. And I do have a $3 only for you digital coupon for those two. I was going to grab a package of Poise liners because we got a rebate over on Shopkick that increased, but I can't get my dang Shopkick to open. It keeps saying it can't locate me. So instead to be safe, I'm gonna go ahead and grab two of the U by Kotex liners. These are regularly priced two for $9. I have a $1 digital coupon for one of them. And then I'll submit over to Shopmium for a $1 coupon reimbursement on the second pack. And then I have a rebate over on Ibotta. It is a limit of one for $1 back on the U by Kotex. And actually for the Huggies Little Swimmers, I also have a $3 rebate over on Ibotta with a limit of two. And then to get me up to 35, I'm gonna grab some Huggies Wipes. Now these two right here that I'm grabbing actually have a 75 cent on two Ibotta rebate. So I'm actually gonna grab four packs. They're on sale two for $6. And I wasn't exactly planning this with this transaction. However, uh, I've got the Ibotta bonus. I have the make it drizzle. I only need four more rebates to get $25. I'm gonna hit that with this transaction, OMG. So my Huggies products and my U by Kotex total me $39. And these are all included in the Kimberly Clark deal of earn back a $10 register reward when you spend 35. But I'm also working with my digital spend booster of spend 40 earned back $8 in Walgreens cash. So I'm just gonna go ahead and grab two Snickers bars. They're buy one, get one free, $1.99. Uh, so that'll get me over my spend requirement of $40. So now my Kimberly Clark deal and the Snickers totals me $40.99. So I'll meet the spend requirement of my digital spend booster, get back my $10 register reward. I'm also gonna throw in a paper spend booster that I received on Sunday of spend 40, earn back $7 in Walgreens cash to make this deal fantastic. Now without my I bought a bonus of $25, this would be about like less than a $4 cost, but I'm gonna throw in this $3 register reward that a sweet subscriber a mystery subscriber, thank you so much, sent me. Uh, and since that's not 
it was gifted to me. I'm not counting that as money paid. It's going to make this transaction like a free, oh my gosh. But it's going to be a huge moneymaker because of my Ibotta bonus. I'm also going to throw in these three register rewards to help lower my out-of-pocket, a 10, a 5, and a 4. And then I'll just pay my remaining balance with my PayPal debit card. This has just turned out to be absolutely fantastic, especially because of meeting my Ibotta bonus. I wanna do one more transaction, but I had to run to a different store because my store was all out of um, the Pampers diapers that I need in for my grandbaby size. I bought what they had on Sunday. I was hoping this store had two size sixes, but they only have one. So I'm gonna grab what they have. Now I am working with a different account that also has the digital spend booster of spend 40, earn back $8 in Walgreens cash. So I'm gonna grab three packages of the Pampers that are on promotion for buy three, earn back a $5 register reward. Next week, we've got a deal on Pampers of spend 35, earn back a $10 register reward. But my digital coupon for this of $3 off two is getting ready to expire and I always need diapers for my grandbabies, so I'm gonna go ahead and grab these today. And these are included in the P&G Visa rebate uh, of the Made to Save, I think. We have two rebates happening right now on the P&G site. The Good as Gold does not include the Pampers diapers, but the Made to Save does. And I bought three packages of Pampers diapers on Sunday for my grandbabies, and now I'm buying three more. So I'm going to be able to submit for a $15 Visa card. I have a video that I'll link down in the description box where I do a full walkthrough on how to do the P&G rebates right on P&G Everyday Good site. And if you have any questions about the actual rebate itself, it is all listed right on the rebate. Like what is the limit? Uh, what products are included? That type of thing. All right, so to get me up to $40, I'm gonna go ahead and do the Colgate deal. We've, this is a month long deal. It's buy two, earn back a $4 register reward. So I'm gonna grab a toothbrush for $4.50. I have a $2 digital coupon, and then I'm gonna grab a tube of toothpaste for $4.50. And I have a $2 digital coupon for this one. So these will end up being 50 cents each after digital coupon and register reward back. So on Sunday, I was doing a couple of transactions and there started to get a line formed behind me. So I just moved to the back of the line. I did one transaction, moved to the back of the line and a super nice customer that was in front of me and checked out, got a couple of coupons that printed from the Catalina machine and she handed them to me. She's like, here, I never use these. And one of them was a spend booster. Wasn't that so nice? So I'm going to use this paper spend booster on this transaction here. And then because I was so mad at myself for not scanning every product, I'm going to do the Dove deal again at this store on the account I'm working with. So I grabbed three of the raspberry and rose, and then I'm going to grab one of the cucumber um, melon. So it'll be the same thing, except for this time, both of my $4 digital coupons should come off. I'll submit to my husband's shop, ma'am, for a $4 coupon reimbursement on the third one, and then uh, submit to my husband's Ibotta for $5 back on Ibotta, and then I'll submit to my fetch for $2.50 back on each one. It should make them a cost of less than $2 for all four, and I just want to be able to report to you, because those Unilever coupons can be tricky sometimes, and not both of them will come off. I just want to let you know if both of them do come off. All right, let's head to the kitchen table and go over this midweek Walgreens haul. All right, we're back at the kitchen table with this midweek Walgreens haul, and I'm so darn excited. Uh, had a couple of hiccups, which were my fault. Usually when things don't work out correctly, it's because we do something wrong or we didn't check something. So that was the case with my dove. I didn't even notice it. I, I mean, I didn't pay attention to it. I knew only one $4 digital came off and I was like, oh, it's doing that weird thing that Walgreens sometimes does. And then when I got out to my car and went to submit to shop me, um, and it wasn't, it was only picking up the four off two on the raspberry and rose. I was like, oh, Jody, that was the only one you scanned. You didn't check the rest of them. So anyways, uh, I go to do my first transaction, which is the Kimberly Clark deal plus my little treat, my Snickers. And 
type in my um, information on the pin pad and guess what prints out of the Catalina machine. <laughs> OMG. If you watched my Sunday video, you know I had a transaction that had all kinds of issues. And I said it could have either been the store coupon I was using or the Hallmark coupon. And so I ended up taking both of them off. And so many of you commented and said, it's the Hallmark coupon. It screwed up my transaction. My digital coupons didn't come off. That wasn't the experience I had. I had one digital coupon not come off when I tried to use this. My other two did. But it was like knocking off my register rewards. It was even knocking this dang coupon off. So if you happen to get this, you can use it on, it says, any Hallmark purchase. Do it separately. Don't do it with anything else. I don't know why it's screwing things up. But thank you to all of you that um, let me know you had issues with the Hallmark coupon that prints. This is just a manufacturer coupon that prints from the Catalina. So I did my Huggies deal with my Snickers. Um, so here's my receipt. Um, there's my two Snickers bars, my little swimmers, uh, the wipes that I got, the U-Bike Hotex. Um, and then I had the cashier scan, the points booster, the spend 40, earn seven. And I used um, four register rewards. One, I'm not counting that $3 one because um, that sweet subscriber sent me that. Um, in my cost, I'm not counting it is what I mean. But I used four register rewards and then my digital, the only for you on the little swimmers and the Kotex came off. So $14.99 was the subtotal that I had to pay. And I earned back uh, $15.40 in Walgreens cash. That was eight for my digital spend booster of spend 40, earn eight, and seven for my paper spend booster of spend 40, earn seven. I got a spend booster, which is nice. So I'll be able to use this next week of spend 40, earn seven. And then my $10 register reward for the Huggies. So for this transaction right here with the Kimberly Clark, I paid $33.99 uh, in store rewards and a subtotal. I earned back $15.40 in Walgreens cash, my $10 register reward. I submitted to Ibotta for four, for four Ibotta rebates, which is what I needed to finish that dang bonus, um, for $7.75. One for the U-Bike Kotex, three for each of the Little Swimmers, and $0.75 cents for two of the Huggies Wipes. Submitted to Shopium for a $1 coupon reimbursement on my second U by Kotex, which would make this transaction a 16 cent money maker, which is awesome. So it was just an awesome little freebie. So without that free $3 that I got from the subscriber, it would have been a cost of $3.16, which is still absolutely incredible. Um, but then I hit my $25 bonus on Ibotta. So for me personally, it was a $25.16 moneymaker, which is awesome. Oh my gosh. And I got stuff for my grandbabies, for my girls, and Snickers for me. Maybe I'll share with my girls. I haven't decided. So anyways, then I moved on and I did the um, Dove deal. And I decided to grab the Vitamin Care. So here they all are at buy one, get one 50% off. Only one $4 digital came off and we know why. $34.96 was the subtotal. I used $20 in Walgreens cash to pay for it. And then my $10 register reward did print. So we know, I've already talked about this. This is a weekly deal, that's why it looks like this. This is a monthly deal, that's why it looks like this. I'll be interested to know if they keep that up. That's why the register rewards look different. So anyways, for this transaction, I paid uh, $34.96 for the four Dove. I got back my $10 register reward. I submitted to Shopium for a $4 coupon reimbursement on one of them, went through already. Submitted to my husband's Fetch Rewards for $12 back. Submitted to Ibotta for $5 back. And then I submitted to my points for a $4, it's actually $4.08 coupon reimbursement on my points. Now, let me tell you what happened with my points. I don't like submitting coupon reimbursements to my points. I have no trouble 
You might use swag bucks. I use my points. The conversion is a little higher. I have no trouble with rebates over on my points, but coupon reimbursements, I always have trouble with. First off, I kept submitting my receipt and I kept getting this error message that said, um, no tracking ID can be found or something weird like that. And it wouldn't even give me the option to like request a review. I could have contacted customer service. So what I ended up doing after the fourth time of it rejecting me is I ended up taking two pictures of my receipt because you can take multiple pictures, which I got all of this in. And then I took a receipt of the bottom or a picture of the bottom of my receipt. Then it finally went through. But of course it said pending because whenever I submit for a coupon reimbursement on my points, it always goes into pending which that's fine, I always get it, and I did actually already get the credit back for it, but I don't know if that's a new thing with my points that you have to submit like the whole dang receipt, the bottom of it and everything, uh, but that was the issue I had with that. Again, it did go through. So, uh, so that transaction ended up being, I paid $34.96 and I ended up getting back $35.08. So it was a little 12 cent moneymaker, so super duper happy. Again, if you were working with the spend booster, I just wanted to do it separately on its own. Use some store money to pay. I wanted to see if the vitamin care was going to produce the $10 register award. And sure enough, it did. So that was awesome. Then I went to the other store and grabbed the um, Pampers because I needed Pampers. I just gave Grayson all of mine. Um, and I really wanted size six, but they didn't have, they only had one. So... I did that, there was my two Colgate, my two Pampers, used that points booster, um, and I used no register rewards on this one, just my digital coupon, so $33.50 was what I paid. I literally never mind paying out of pocket, especially when I'm getting stuff for my grandbabies. And I earned back $15.40 in Walgreens cash. Again, eight for my digital spend booster, I've spent 40, earn eight, because this was a different account than this one, Digital spend boosters are a one-time use almost always. And then spend 40, earn seven on my paper spend booster. Then the Catalina machine spit me out my $4 register reward for the Colgate and my $5 register reward for the Pampers. So for that transaction, I paid $33.50, got back $15.40 Walgreens cash, $9 in register rewards, and I'm submitting for the $15 Visa card on the PG Good. So I earned $39.40, which made that transaction free, plus a $5.90 moneymaker. So, so happy to get diapers for free. Then again, I told you in the story, I was so mad at myself that I didn't scan all of those that I went ahead and did this one and grabbed three of the raspberry and rose. Oh, while I'm holding this, I've talked about this before in other videos, but I don't know if I've talked about it in a Walgreens video. I may have, but just a friendly reminder. When you are scanning these on Shop Ma'am and they have a QR code, you have to cover the QR code. Shop Ma'am will pick up the QR code and it will say there is no offer available. you got to cover this. The cashier actually had trouble at the register. The register was trying to pick up the QR code. She had to cover it so that it would actually scan the barcode. So anyways, I grabbed four, grabbed the raspberry in rows, uh, so there they are, and both of my digital coupons came off. That $4 off too, it says it's on the spray, but it is attaching to the Vitamin Care Raspberry and Rose. And then my $4 off one. So $30.96 was my subtotal. Again, I used $20 in Walgreens cash. Um, I paid the $10.96. I knew I was going to be getting it back in cash anyways. Um, submitted to my husband, shot me for $4 coupon reimbursement on the fourth one that I didn't use a coupon on, submitted to Ibotta for $5 back, and then submitted to MyFetch where I got $10 back. So it made those four a cost of $1.96. Oh, and I did get my $10 register reward, of course. So that was awesome. So I had one transaction that had a cost, which was these four Dove of $1.96. Then I had a $5.90 moneymaker, a $0.16 cent moneymaker, and a $0.12 cent moneymaker. So all in all, everything was free plus a $4.22 moneymaker 
all digital, super easy deal. If you still have the digital coupons that I use and you have the rebates that I use. But I also earned back my $25. Uh, I bought a bonus for the Make It Drizzle. So everything ended up being a $29.14 moneymaker for me. So super awesome midweek haul at Walgreens. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. I appreciate you so much. And I'm going to see you again soon. Bye.